hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on this channel so in this video we're going to talk about ios 16.3 rc update on my iphone 10r so as you can see from the screenshot it came in about 4.87 gigabytes on my iphone 10r and if you're having newer devices like iphone 12 or iphone 13 it will be above 5 gigabytes so in this video let's take a look at this ios 16.3 new features and what are the bug fixes that apple has brought with this new ios 16.3 update so make sure you watch this video till the end so let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first if i go to the settings general and about section as you can see the ios version says ios 16.3 and moreover take a look at the build number this will be the final build number 20d47 so ios 16.3 release candidate released uh, you know yesterday night unless we get any more bugs so this will be the final version as well so probably by early next week we'll get to see ios 16.3 public release so 20d47 is the final build number so talking about the modem firmware update this update does not specifically contains any modem firmware update at least for iphone 10r but i've heard that for other iphones like newer iphones especially iphone 14 or 14 pro models you will have a modem firmware update coming from ios 16.3 beta 2 to rc so check for your iphone if you have a modem firmware update or not now let's talk about what are the new features that you get with ios 16.3 so the major thing is the new wallpaper right so if you go to the wallpaper and click on add new wallpaper so if you come down there is a new unity section that is just now added with ios 16.3 update and this wallpaper was previously there but this is the one that they have added now you get uh, you know this new unity wallpaper with ios 16.3 update which you can add to your iphone ipad and stuff like that so not only you have this wallpaper you get the custom customization option as usual so if you swipe right you get to see the other colors as well like black red orange you know green blue and purple and pink cream gray so this all color options are available if you want you can also customize the time font as well there are multiple fonts and depending on the color you can customize the way you want so that's a big thing so apple has released this new unity wallpaper so apart from that there are a few changes as well so if i tap on my name on the settings and click on this icloud you all know that you know this advanced data protection since the time ios 16.3 beta 1 has come out this advanced data protection was there but it was only available in us apart from us there were no other countries apple had released this advanced data protection but finally with ios 16.3 you see that you can actually turn on this advanced data protection even from india so as you can see it says gives you basically a warning you will be responsible for your data recovery because this is you know actually linked with the security key thing so i'm just going to you know repeat that one more time because you all know this you know Apple also added the security key thing, the kind of a two-factor authentication that Apple is bringing in picture now. So if you click on this password and security, and as you can see, this add security key option is there. So if I now click on this add security key, so it allows you to, you know, pair your iPhone with a physical NFC tag or NFC security key, which you can use as a two-factor authentication, stuff like that. So that is directly linked with the you know, data protection thing. So if you plan to use that, make sure you will need your physical NFC key in order to recover your data. So these were a couple of new things that Apple has added with iOS 16.3 update. Apart from that, there are some bug fixes as well. So the main bug fixes that we actually expect, you know, people already know about this that there is this swipe home lag so if you open any application and close it so there was swipe home lag that had returned previously but after i use 16.3 beta 2 since then till now i haven't faced this issue so i'm not sure only time can tell us whether this issue is resolved or not now talking about one more thing if i show you the battery thing so if i go to the battery and you know first let me talk about the battery health so battery health is still 88 percent on iphone 10 
not. I hardly use this device, you know, apart from just to show you the new features and update stuff like that. So there is no battery health drop, at least on my iPhone XR. And also, if I talk about the battery life, you know, the screen off and screen on time are very negligible because I hardly use this device. So next week, we are going to see iOS 16.3 public release. I will review that on my iPhone XR once I have iOS 16.3 and we'll talk about the battery life and performance about on iPhone 13 next week as well so apart from that if you talk about performance just last night i have updated my you know iphone 10 r so you know performance wise you know considering it's a four year old iphone so there is no issue with the performance and even with this geekbench 5 uh, if you want to see the single core score came in about 1110 and the multi core score came in about 2331. So these are the Geekbench score for iPhone XR. Let me know if you have already updated to iOS 16.3 RC, what are your Geekbench scores if you are using iPhone XR or any other device. So with the help of this video, I just wanted to let you know that you have a new update if you are using iOS 16 beta profile now to, you know, Keep in mind that this update will not be for everyone. If you have an iOS 16 beta profile installed in the VPN and device management, then only you will be able to get this iOS 16 beta updates along with the RC updates. But, but this is kind of a final update. If we don't get to see any more, uh, you know, unusual bugs, then Apple will probably release this update to the public probably next week. So then again, with the help of this video, I just wanted to talk about this iOS 16.3 RC update. And if you have a, you know, beta profile installed on your iPhone, then definitely try out this iOS 16.3 RC. Let me know in the comment section below among all the features that I've talked about, you know, the few talking about the data protection and adding the security keys and the new wallpapers, which one was your favorite and you know, which one would you like to see and would you like to use in upcoming iOS 16.3 update on your iPhone? Let me know that in the comment section below. That's it for this video. This video was short and crisp. I hope this video was kind of a helpful to you. So if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.